Is there anything better than chilling with the pigeons? Just saw a famous actress. We just got hollered out by some people that follow our vlog on YouTube. All right, I'll give you those two. But have you got anything else? I definitely see your point. You're gonna need sweatpants and a to-go bag for this week's episode. Hey, Kate, you have anything to say in defense of the pigeons? They haven't lost any of my underwear. That's a big plus. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Oh, baby, I love your madness. We're trying a new taco place. I don't even need a menu. I'm just heading straight for the Tacos Out Best Store to give them a shot. It's so incredibly beautiful. This is a grande. I think that's worth 40 pesos. Oh, just the right amount of sugar. This is really good. watching here is fantastic and I would swear I just saw a famous actress but it's Isla. I'm gonna have to go and check out her Instagram. I'm sure she probably put something on there. Who's the actress? Um, Chris. Hey buddy! Oh, hey. I swear it was Heather Graham. Uh -huh. his editing such problematic <laughs> the tacos are just okay but they are only 15 pesos which is like 75 percent of the price of the other ones they are definitely worth the price yes yeah. how are you we just got hollered out by some people that follow our vlog on youtube that's our first time ever it was kind of i'm 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 touched it was so cool that was hilarious like hey we want your vlog <laughs> Anyways, we feel like uh, we feel like big movie stars now. So, thank you to all who uh, check out our YouTube channel. Just walking down North Beach, Playa Norte, and found Brian and Lori from Minnesota who subscribed to our YouTube channel. Hi guys. Hi. It's like shit. People actually oh, yeah, recognize us. Autographs. That was awesome. Great to meet you guys. Oh, nice to meet you. Thank you. So, if you're from Minnesota. Like and subscribe, and if you're not, like and subscribe. There you go. People ask us, do you enjoy your life? You want with me? Yep. We're back at the Mercado Municipal to eat the municipal market. You'll know from our earlier videos, our favorite place there used to be the pink place, which is right behind us, Giovanni and Alexia's. However, unfortunately, they did not reopen. We tried a new place, which is the one on the very end, and it's really good, so we're happy about that. But I just love to play in your fun and Now the prices here are pretty darn good. And let's try the Jamaica here. It has a little bit of a, a bite to it. It's really good. To be honest, I knew the Jamaica here was good, but we hadn't filmed it yet. I tried their sopa de lima earlier in the week here, and it's fantastic. I got a Mexican omelet, which means that it has peppers and onions and tomatoes with ham and cheese. I really like their black beans. I think they're the best on the island so far. Divorciados, which is divorced eggs. It's half red and half green. The green sauce is uh, tomatillo and it has a little bit of a spice to it. And the red is not spicy and it's more of a tomato based. Really good. And of course, we also ordered some chilaquiles. Really rich cheese. Or maybe no, it's cotita. Yeah, it's not parmesan. It's not parmesan. It's cotija. 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 So it has a bite to it. These are really good. What about you want? That's easy. I think I like the red sauce in the chili chilies because it blends better with all the different flavors. Oh, okay. 
I prefer the red sauce for a bigger meal because the green is a little more acidic. I like it, but it doesn't last for me quite as well. But they're both really good. I like the, the divorce part. Start on here. Hey. <laughs> and you can start on here. And then when you get a little tired, you go over here and you go back and forth. For somebody who is indecisive on food, this is the perfect meal for them. I love pico de gallo. This has habanero in it. It's really hot. It's very fresh and it has a lot of flavor. flavor. I've never heard of hot habanero. I'm the first one that. Yes, yes. All that food was $10. I'm too full, and that's a good thing. <laughs> Look at that, ninja. Highly recommend this place, but now it's that time. Well, we're trying someplace new. Everybody's told us that we need to go to Pizza Mike's to try pizza. We always ate at the other place because they had gluten-free crust, so we will let you know. Warm, parmesan, buttery. Oh, what is the green stuff? Basil. 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 I'm more than just a little jealous. I get a lot of bread when it's gluten free. The crust is really crispy. I like it. This is New York. I was going to order the, the Chicago, but it's 45 minutes. So I ordered the New York, which is only 25 minutes. Pepperoni and pineapple. Crust isn't bad. Doesn't have a lot of flavor. Why don't you stay, stay? Why don't we I ordered the Henry, which is a little bit of everything. Pretty good. Pretty good. Crust is thin. The crust at Oscars is better but the pizza is good. It's not amazing, but it's good. When you can get gluten-free crust on a tiny island, that's a win regardless. Really glad we went to Pizza Mike's. Uh, Mike was there, nice guy. I could see how people would choose that one, but for me, there just wasn't enough flavor. The crust was crunchy, it would, that was great, but yeah, there was just not enough flavor. So not bad, no. just not a place that I'd probably need to go back to, but I could certainly see why other people would, would prefer it. Yeah. So, nice. Now it's loud. You see that big chidrari right there, so you know where Katie's headed. Yep. Margarita on Juarez has quickly become our daily favorite. With us, it's all or nothing. Here's a secret. The menu is exactly the same as Pope Chul, but the cook is different. You know, you've got to have a mic. It's the spot. Some of you might remember this shirt. It was in a giveaway box in a hostel in Australia. It's comfortable. All right, this is the habanero sauce. Uh, yeah, that has habanero in it, but it also has good flavor. So it's just not hot. That's really good. First criteria with nachos is homemade tortillas. And these have them. The pico de gallo has enough uh, lime in it, so it gives it a bite with lots and lots of cheese. Now let's try the meat. Mmm, very moist. It has lots of spices on it. Muchas gracias. These are panuchos. They're continued with beans and noodles. It's gonna be messy. We make them more like tacos. These panuchos are really good. They have uh, lime on them with the salad and the chicken has is, uh, lots of spices on it. It's a really good panucho. And this place is super affordable. It's average between two to five dollars a plate. So we eat here a lot. This might be number one on the list, we'll see. For $100, you 
165 pesos, you get spaghetti, rice, beans, salsa, onions, and soup. Don't know what number this is going to be on the list, but it's definitely going to be in the top 10. Whenever we just really needed a burger, like a good burger, Jack's was our place to go. And I'm happy to put that bug in my mouth. That, that is not as good as a burger. Happy to say that the consistency is there. The burgers are still fantastic. Prices are a little high, but you get what you pay for. They're worth it. It's loud out here. <laughs> it really is. The salads are top notch. Everything really is good. We're off to have our splurge meal before uh, we leave Isla Mujeres because our time here is drawing too close. Bienvenidos. Gonna check my thing. Gotta squirt my hand. We always sit upstairs. across the road so we might not do much talking but on the bright side it's a good live salsa band so that's cool of those chunks of chicken on that salad. I mean, look at that. Yes, I'm one of those people. I put ketchup on my hamburger. And then also take the pickles out and eat those. I love their fries. They're crispy on the outside. These are good fries. He's hogging all of the cheese fries. <laughs> That was a great final restaurant meal on the island. Oh, yes. Okay, we got one more night tomorrow night. Because, uh, you know, we'll be lo doing local food. Good morning. Well, this is our last full day on Isla Mujeres, so it's time to get laundry done. Usually we wouldn't wait till the last day, but there's a good express place down here that only takes like two or three hours to get it done, so laundry day. This is the place to come to get our laundry done. We used to go to another place, but they raised their prices, so we go to Tempo, it's 100 pesos. So deliver it to your place. Two hour express service, which thus far has meant two to two and a half hours. Yeah, it's been great. And thus far, they haven't lost any of my underwear. That's a big plus. So that's where we go. And now that we got our laundry, it's time to pack. Ugh. And darn, that's actually with a needle for you don't know. <laughs> oh, if we get 95% of our bags packed the night before, so the next morning, all we have to do is put our toiletries in our backpack and the computer, and we don't have to rush. It helps a lot on the stress level. <laughs> yeah, no, best story, you're right. Sister. Okay. <laughs> I'm just heading straight for the out of chip. Shit. <laughs> Talk to the camera. <laughs> I prefer the red sauce for a bigger meal because the, uh, the green, oh, hey. Okay. I prefer the red sauce. Whatever we needed a burger, when we just... Hi, boss. All that food was $10. All that food was $10. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave that in there every time we go in. <laughs> what, you want me to beat myself? It was perfectly fine in my head. <laughs> no, I couldn't talk. <laughs> oh. Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>